Welcome to KK Chemistry. Inorganic Chemistry Paper 3 that is Inorganic Electronic Spectroscopy. Here we are with the D8 system and we are going to derive our term symbol for the excited state for this particular system. Okay, you, we know the relationship between is a mutual quantum number that is L and the substitution notation. We have discussed so many times and you also know the spectroscopic term notation as well. If a question has been asked to prove that D2 system is equal to D8 means that the term symbol we derive for D2 are exactly the same as that for D8 system. Here we take a particular example of free nickel ion means still this nickel is free. Here it is plus 2. It means ligands are not attached with it. So we are not going to discuss the ligand effect here. Just the free ion of a nickel. So the ground state electronic configuration for a nickel is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p 6, 3 is 2, 3 p 6, 4 is 2 and 3 d 8. Okay, if this 2 is electron are removed, then we get a configuration like 4 is 2, 3 d, sorry, 4 is 0, 3 d, 8. For this particular nickel ion. Okay. Now we know that for F L is equal to two, we will have D sub shape, and if we put the value of 2 in this particular equation, it will tell us about the orientation of the five d orbital of a D system. So here we have five values, mean we have five ML values. This D orbital can be oriented under the magnetic field in five different uh, you can say direction or orientation under the effect of a magnetic field. Now, question might be in your mind how we can calculate the number of micro states. It also tell us about the possible arrangement of electrons in various energy levels. So simply we will use this formula. Here L is the mutual quantum number and number of successive electrons. I mean if it is one we will write one over here if it is in one as well over here and if it is 2 we will write 2 over here and here as well as we know that we have n is equal to 2 and is and total number of electrons are 8 we can arrange these electrons for first electron here 2 is the mutual quantum number L you can add successively all the 8 electrons okay now the total number of microstates are 45 
just equal to B to the system. So it is also proved over here that D2 is equal to D8 in terms of a number of microstates. So here we have 45 possible ways of arrangement. We can arrange these electron and 45 possible ways. Okay, here is the partial region hole diagram. This one is the partial region hole diagram of a D8 system. It is a D8 system. Now, here is the arrangement of electrons. You can arrange electron in this fashion. Here we will just move this electron in upper direction. Okay, these electron horizontally. Well, it seems to be too much teasing and laborious. Because here we have crowd of electrons. And the ML value can be calculated as we have discussed in our previous lecture ML1 for first, ML2 for the second, ML3 for the third, etc. Just put the values of ML2 for this one plus 1 into 2 for this one, 0 into 2 for this very ML value, minus 1 into 1 for this very ML value, and minus 2 into 1 for this one. Here we got plus 3. So the total ML value is plus 3. You can calculate for the rest of arrangement or you can say the ML value. So here we have four sets of arrangement or you can say we have four different sets. Set 1 with term symbol 3F4, 3F3, 3F2 mean triplet F4 triplet F3, triplet F2. We have calculated it in case of D2 system in our previous classes. The fourth, fifth one is a ES1. Here is the spectroscopic term symbol. You can see the term symbol for that particular system. Okay. It seems to be too much like laborious, or you can say not an easy way to place all these 10 electrons in different uh, ML values or subshells. Don't worry, we have a solution for it. Here the ground state is a 3. F4. Okay, just use the formalism phenomena. Here we know that D2, D8 system is less than two electrons, mean having two holes. Less than two electrons and having two holes. And D2 is having two electrons. So, according to the formalism phenomena, these two are equivalent. Two electrons and two holes, these are equivalent. Now, we can use pigeon hole diagram for D2 system instead of D8 because we know that uh, according to two holes and two electron phenomena, that is formalism, these two systems are equivalent. So we can perform like the arrangement of electrons in D2 so as to avoid confusion. 
the partial pinhole diagram for D2 system. As we have previously discussed, term derivation for D2 system using pigeonhole diagram. So, by keeping in view the whole formulation phenomena or the theory, you can say theory of formalism, you can derive term symbols for D2 instead of uh, D8. Okay, just place the electron in the most highest ML value, that is plus 2 and plus 1. Now keep on moving these two electrons, one vertically and the other horizontally. And just keep on moving. Okay, now we have finished here with all the boxes. We cannot move this electron further either vertically or horizontally. So keep these two electrons at the next higher ML value and just keep on moving. Keep on moving these electrons in this fashion till we finish with all the possibilities of arranging these two electrons. Now here, how you calculate the ML value? We know that the first electron is placed in plus 2, plus 2, the ML value, this one is a the number of a electron. Okay, the second one is a, the second one is ML plus 1, right here and it is having one electron. So by adding these two ML values, we get the result in ML value that is plus a three. And we can see it over here. Okay, now the num we have a number of sets. Or you can say a number of uh, term symbols as we have previously derived for D2 system. The same term symbols can be derived for uh, D8 system. The only difference will be in the ground state term symbol. So we have term symbol triplet F 4, 3, 2, triplet P 2, 0, So we have triplet uh, P2, 3P1 and 3P0. That is 1G4. It is here the term symbol is saying letter D2. So by this fashion, we can calculate uh, term symbols uh, for the eta by keeping in view the phenomena of uh, formalism. Now, question might be how to locate or how to represent the ground state term symbol for D8 system. As you know, we have performed the D2 system pigeonhole diagram, or we can say that we have created and the two pigeon hole diagram very simple according to Horn's rule we will select the term symbol is the ground state for the eight system having higher spin multiplicity higher L value and higher J value for D2 system the ground state is having J equal to D2 to 2 mean triplet F2 and for D8 definitely we will pick the higher J value term symbol has proved that 
term symbol derived for D2 systems are equivalent to term symbol derived for D8 system. So here the ground state term symbol is triplet F2 and for D8 system we have the ground state that is triplet F4. So there the only different difference is in the J value. So total genesis is the same as we have calculated for a D2 system. The total D genesis is a 45. Means 45 possible ways of arranging uh, these electrons. Thank you. Please share, subscribe and like uh, this lecture. Thank you.